one of the number one needs of a man is to feel appreciated. right now because I need you to follow us on our social media platforms, which is at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Official CJ Jackson. That is the location. And don't forget about our new website, which is officialcjjackson.com. Again, we have come together to share what the Lord wants us to reveal today from his word that I believe is essential as we deal with men. Okay, we had some time ago, we shared about what a woman wants. Today, we're going to deal with what a man wants. Amen. As we talk about relationships with others, we're going to look at what a man wants. Now, I want to start you off with a couple of different things that I, I thought you probably should have an opportunity to look at from the Word of God. And we're just going to bring from the passage some things that are not only Re revelant and, and, and needed to be seen that are essential things that not only a man wants, but a man needs. And so I'm going to be reading from Proverbs 21 and verse 9. And the Bible says, it's better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Now, that word contentious means argumentative, it means somebody that's tense. It means somebody that virtually has a problem, looks like all the time. They're never satisfied. They're constantly being irritating, if you will. It's somebody that seems to be like sandpaper and you're constantly dealing with abruptions and you're never at a place where virtually you feel as if you are appreciated. And the reason I brought that word up appreciated is because one of the number one needs of a man is to feel appreciated. You want to get into more detail, there's an author by the name of William, William Harley who has a wonderful book that deals with some of the major needs of a man and of a woman. And of a man, Three of the major needs of a man, some people would never even consider, but one of the most significant one is to feel appreciated, is to feel appreciated. Number two is companionship. So we're just going to deal with those two because those two are the most powerful, powerful needs of a man is to feel appreciated. When you talk about feeling appreciated, it's as if you are given honor. You are being put in a place where what you do is recognized. You are given attention and you are given something that shows that whatever you have done or accomplished, you are given encouragement. Amen. This is what men need. They need this. They need to know that whatever they are doing, it is something that their spouse is looking at in a way that they can say, well done. You did a good job. You are wonderful. I can't believe what you did. This may sound so insignificant, but it's not. Because as men, our DNA is wired to where virtually we need to know we are workers and our objective is to work for our family, work for our spouse, work for our children, work in various different realms and ministry. And when we work, guess what we need to be in a place where we feel appreciated. We feel wanted. We feel needed. We feel like we are an asset, that we are doing something that is meaningful. And we receive that back by those that are close in our circle. And how they do that is by saying things that clearly identify with that. Guys, if you are dealing with anybody in your life and you do anything and it never measures up, it's never good enough you don't make enough money, you don't look good, you're not, you're not in the best shape, 
you know, I'm tired of taking care of you. I don't want to do this anymore. When are you going to change? You never do this. You never do this. You never do that. You constantly hear that. But in the middle of all of that, you're also doing a lot of things that virtually show that you are consistent. You work hard. 40, 60, some guys even 80 hours a week, and then they come home exhausted, but virtually they're being told you're not doing enough. Guys, I want to tell you, it's time that we understand how to communicate effectively to our significant others that we want to feel appreciated for the things that we do. Amen. And not to be put down and not to be overlooked. Because when we deal with relationships, the one key thing is, is that you have to understand a real relationship deals with being selfless. That means that virtually I'm not really looking at myself as much as I'm looking at you. You see, relationships begin with me, but end with you. In other words, I got to know that who I am is important enough to be able to do what is needed for you. When people struggle with themselves, it shows up in their relationship. Amen, somebody. If I'm struggling with myself, I'm going to take it out on you. Come on, somebody. If I'm struggling with how I think about me and how I think about myself, you might feel the aftermath. And I'm not trying to put anybody in any kind of position to kind of oversee your marriage or relationship in any kind of way. I just want you to know that clearly it is important that a man begins to facilitate his needs towards being appreciated. Companionship is the next most important need of a man. Companionship. This is why for most men, you wonder why they like getting together with their buddies. They like hanging out and watching football games and doing things like that or hanging out with different people that they've been around because they want companionship. It's companionship. Companionship is an important piece to a man. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're doing something that we're all snuggled up and we're having something romantic. No. That could be the case, but literally when we talk about companionship, it just means that I'm doing something with somebody that I care about. I've been collecting comic books for the majority of my life, okay? And my wife has gone out of her way to be a companion with me in what virtually is me. It's not her. She doesn't really like comic books, but she really loves me. And so because she really loves me, she's done some work to understand what it is that virtually I like. And because of that, our unison, our connection in companionship has become greater because it's a need. A need of a man is to have companionship. Brothers, I want to encourage you right now to evaluate your companionship. Don't spend all this time with everybody else but your spouse in being with somebody in companionship. Find a way to incorporate time, quality, priority with companionship that's being created between you and your spouse. It needs to be done. It's an asset. If it doesn't happen, then a man will find companionship outside of the relationship. Amen, somebody. He will find it with his, with, his, with his buddies. He will find it with his bros. He will find it with his partners that he works with. He will find it somewhere else, but he will not find it where he's supposed to find it, and that's at home with his spouse. I pray today that this has been beneficial for every man that virtually is at a place where they need to know what a man wants, and you identify with being appreciated and knowing that there's a need for companionship. May God bless you, and may you always realize that you were created to be a blessing. Amen.